Hi everyone, welcome to a video that I never thought I would be making until a few months back. Many of you have been commenting on this in my previous videos and I never replied because I was not sure if I had to tell that soon. Some of you have guessed it right, maybe because of some changes you saw in me. Some of you simply guessed it and yes, I am carrying. I am in my second trimester. I have been very inactive, always being on and off YouTube. Some of you thought I had stopped vlogging. I will no longer be making videos or vlogs like how I used to. So I thought I'll make this small announcement to let you all know what's happening with me, why I'm delaying videos or not publishing vlogs like how I used to because yeah pregnancy means though it's a beautiful journey health it's not always okay I was not planning to put a video like this soon but since getting lots and lots of comments and personal messages on this I thought I'll give an update because when you ask about this in the comment section I didn't know what to reply so finally gave a thought to make a video now this pregnancy came as a big surprise for us because we were not planning for a third baby. It was just the two of them, Rihan and Arman, and a third baby never came into our thoughts or minds. But yes, kids wanted a baby sibling because they have been seeing their nieces recently during vacations, be it my brother-in-law's daughter or my brother's daughters, and they just love playing with them. Especially Arman wanted to have a baby for himself at home to play all the time. Now, to be honest, more than a surprise, it was a shock for me because I was not mentally prepared for it. Now, when I say this, it might sound weird or silly, but I'm sure whoever have gone through this will understand me. I sought advice from very close family, friends and relatives for whom pregnancies came as a surprise and they too had gone through the scene. Even worse happened to them. Anyway, I was, uh, yeah, I was in a shock for almost two or three weeks because of many reasons. I was actively working out, which I had to stop all on a sudden, as soon as he came to know that I was pregnant. I was planning to go on a ladies trip that I had to drop and I had a few other plans for the next year that I would have to skip. So all these put me in, what do you say, a low situation. But thanks to the Almighty because everything happens for good. Right then when I was almost recovering from that mood, my health started dropping. Thankfully I had no vomiting this time because the last two pregnancies in the first trimester were really worse. This time it's just the feeling of vomiting, that nausea and feeling very tired. So I was almost in the bed the whole day and even night was not that great. I was not active. I didn't feel like doing anything what I love to do. I didn't want to do any vlogs. I didn't like to cook and I couldn't do. And at this moment, I just want to thank a few people in our life whom we are very grateful for. Among them are Shilja and uh, Venu. The lovely couple who took all the pain to make sure we got homely cooked food on time. I was not able to cook anything. I was feeling very tired in the morning. Uh, I didn't like the smell of my home, especially the kitchen. The smell of what? I don't know. So we were looking for some mess facility that could be of great help. Because it was not just me who need food. My family was starving or eating out the whole time. And thinking of having restaurant food... I would start feeling nauseous. So at this hard time when my husband was discussing on this with his friends about the mess facility or any canteen facility, our close family friends, Vinu and Shilja, agreed to prepare home cooked food for us, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Shilja is an amazing cook, I must say. For each meal or each day, she made sure it's something different and of course, tasty. And Vinu took all the effort to bring it home on time. A big hug to them for their help. Angels in our life, I would say. 
and another person is Dania. She is a distant relative as well as a teacher at my kids' school. Now, kids had to leave school early, so their breakfast was always from school canteen. Dania used to message me daily on the menu at the canteen and made sure they both got their food from the canteen on time. This was such a help we could ever get because otherwise I would not know if they ate or were getting food on time because Rihan used to tell me earlier that uh, there would be rush, there'll be big rush at the canteen and it's not easy to get food quickly. So I was actually worried about Arman, whether he would be able to go by and get it from the canteen. But she was another gem to help us. And a few other friends, one whom I have is Nifla and some other friends, my uh, elder son Rihan's friends' mothers, who didn't want their names to be told anywhere, had sent food on weekends and even otherwise in between. Sometimes we don't realize how blessed we are with good friends like family around and we'll be ever thankful to have them in our lives whenever we go through hard situations. And yes, I'm feeling better now. My health is almost getting yeah, better. I'll try putting vlogs like before. And if there's any delay in between, I hope you will all understand. And yes, we did travel after the consent of my gynecologist. Without her permission, it's really risky to travel. It was a wonderful trip, of course, carrying the little one inside. I was feeling much better, in fact, getting a break from this. I have been feeling really tired, feeling nauseous almost every time in bed. So this was a good change. And one of the partners of Milan Holidays, Fayaz, who knew that uh, I am carrying, he's a, one of our good friends. So he made sure that the itinerary is something that I can have uh, for a safe trip. We can relax and enjoy. And yeah, it was very convenient. Even the staff on the trip was very concerned before going to any sightseeing spots. They made sure we got our food on time. No hurry buries for any sightseeing. It was all made at our comfort level. So that's all. I'll try to upload videos as much as I can. As of now, I have no such pregnancy routine. It's almost the same except that I don't work out. Do keep us in your prayers. And thank you all for commenting on your concerns about me. Sending you all lots of love and my prayers out there for all those uh, lovely couples who are looking forward for a baby in their lives. Take care everyone. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.